hey, this is Kevin Kitchens Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open my copy of the hot new game from Stronghold, Terraforming Mars. Uh, this has just been getting rave reviews. Uh, I called it another game uh, earlier, game of the year. Uh, that was probably premature, even though it's probably still going to be up there in the nominees. It may still win it, because it's still a great game. I'm not going to say what it was, because... I'm backtracking now, but there's a couple other games that come out here toward the end of the year that may take its place. One is Terraforming Mars, the other is uh, Mex vs. Minions, which is apparently all the buzz right now. If you can get a copy, apparently it came out today and or yesterday, and uh, I forgot, so I didn't even try to get a copy. So it's probably sold out now, but we'll see what happens anyway. Terraforming Mars by Jacob Fralius, and if that's wrong, you can let me know. Uh, it's a game for uh, play solo well um, yeah it's for one to five players so that's great um, it's all about terraforming Mars everybody's everybody's doing stuff on Mars playing cards to try to raise uh, various criteria uh, the temperature the oxygen level uh, and build uh, put water on Mars um, as you can see we have forests and we have water and they have their suits on, but plants are growing, so uh, we must have oxygen as well. So I just wanted to show you what's inside, because I'm sure everybody's already heard how wonderful the game is. But if you're considering buying it, what are you going to get for your 69 retail, $45 online gaming store price? Let us explore Mars together. Right, so you open it. box is a little... A little flimsier. This came from Miniature Market. Uh, so it's a little flimsier. It did get a little dishing, I think, when I first got it. I was a little disappointed with that. But those things happen. So we're going to get counters, counter sheets. Um, one, in case you want to count. I have no idea what any of this is. Obviously, obviously, this is the water. I know that you can claim when you've done something, you've got cities that you can build. The counters themselves. Good thickness. I don't think they matter in terms of uh, you know which side you're using stuff like that. Uh, in fact, the cities or the forests on the other side. So you can use them, and obviously you have little things here, which I guess would be developments or something like that. So let's see. We've got one, two. Nope, oh, just two sheets of counters. It's interesting. We have our rule book. Oh yeah, this got way crushed inside. And shipment. I mean, it's a cheap, flimsy cardboard insert anyway. But yeah, it, it obviously got some weight on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, it's pretty dinged up. So, not, not thrilled about that. But if it's the greatness, I won't be selling it, so it won't matter anyway, right? Uh, pretty decent instructions, kind of dense. Some card, some pictures. Uh, they. It doesn't start with a component background. I mean, a component uh, layout showing you what everything is. So it's hopefully it'll be coming up here and not just scattered. Um, but you're going to want to learn. You're going to want to read the rules and learn this. I know some people complain about the cards being a mix of real art and cartoon art. I don't care unless it's Star Trek, and then I want it to be artwork, not stills from the show. But that's a different debate for a different show. Put your game in. Your suggestions. Uh, there's game variants, there's a solo variant, the draft variant, which you could do solo if you wanted to. Kind of hard. Uh, victory points. Although I guess you could draft for the second player. You could play two-handed and do a draft, and you take the card you want, and but you're giving them the other card. So, Guide to the symbols, which I understand might be kind of confusing for some, but I guess if you've mastered... Um, um, Race of the Galaxy... You probably won't have any problems with this one. Uh, short rule book. It's about 12, no, 16 pages. Front to back, 16 pages. Got the board, which is actually kind of thin. It's a thin board, but it's big. Um, that's not too bad. So it's six panels. No, it's four panels. So it's actually not, not all that big. It's beautiful. Scoring track, I believe, uh, or experience or reputation track or something like that. You got your temperature scale, uh, your oceans here, I believe, and your oxygen level. 
is there, and then you're putting stuff on the map. So that's the board. A little thinner than normal, but it's lighter too, so that's good. And then we have our ba free baggies. And then a bunch of cubes represent uh, player colors and resource colors. Nice. The metallic ones are metallic. They're metallic painted, so that's kind of cool. Player boards, which another free bag, bonus bag. Uh, player boards, which some people have complained about. Oh, they are kind of slick. I mean, I played on other boards where you're, you know, putting using markers to to count, um, but these actually are kind of slick. Um, so it's interesting. They seem to be identical. I know you can play different corporations, but I guess that's just reflected in your cards and maybe starting assets or something. The cards themselves, the boards themselves, are identical. There are uh, aftermarket uh, grids that you can buy. So what you, what you do is you take a, you'll take a uh, cube, and you'll place it on here as your. This is your uh, rate that you'll gain these items, and uh, or this is your rate for this, and you'll move that across. Well, if you bump this, then that can slide, and you don't know where you are. So this is very slick and will slide. So, but it's zero through ten a die. Could be used to track that as well, um, especially a ten-sided. That's less likely to wobble. Um, but there are aftermarket grids you can buy to put the card in. Especially if you're playing solo, you only have to buy one. And so, you, you know, since the cards are identical, so there may be other things you could do, uh, you know, homebrew kind of things to to fix that. But the die would probably be the quickest quickest solution. So that shows your rate, and every turn you're going to get that much, and then you trade them in and do stuff with it. And then we have the cards. Lots and lots of cards. And from what I understand, you will never go through all the cards in a single game, so you have lots of variability. And you're gonna have a hand of cards, you're gonna have cards you can buy. Um, again, I'm, I'm still, haven't even learned this yet. I've been waiting, like I said, to do the unboxing. So uh, these are the different corporations and the benefits they get. So let's look through some of the cards here. So we have farming. And that's obviously artwork. And then you got dust seals, and it's a photo of a dust seal. You know what? That doesn't look bad. I think people are just being nitpicky. Urbanized area, it's a picture of a city. You know, they could probably run it through a Photoshop color filter or a painter filter to make it look like artwork. But I think it's fine. Now, that kind of looks like a video game. It's kind of strange sabotage. I know it's supposed to be like two vehicles running away from uh, an explosion. But it actually looks like somebody's holding a gun and, and shooting something. But... Moss, it's a photo of Moss. Industrial Center, uh, it's kind of rendered artwork. Hired Raiders is drawing, hackers, a bunch of guys sitting in a room. So it's a mix, I, it doesn't bother me. It's definitely a worm. So now I like it. Now the picture of uh, Matt Damon shows up with a potato. I might be a little offended, but I doubt he's gonna be in there because I couldn't pay him enough. Anyway, a lot of cards. I mean, that's huge. I don't know how many it says there are without flipping the box over, but goodness gracious. It's got to be at least 150 cards. Cards, a bunch of nice cubes, player boards, game board that you can fit back in its destroyed box slot, rule book, and then the card counters, of course, will be punched. So I guess I'll be making a custom insert for this for Terraforming Mars, and that is what you get in the box. Thanks for watching.